make this let me let me just make it clear about this Sanchez or Aguero thing. It's uh, here's here's what it is. Uh, Arsenal, uh, yet again, not going to win the title. Um, they've got a good chance of getting the quarterfinals, which is a rare break for them in the Champions League, but nobody would really put serious money on them to win the Champions League this season, which is remarkable, really, bearing in mind that um, they signed Alexis Sanchez and don't actually seem to have got much better. So uh, Sanchez has been brilliant, obviously. But the question uh, that uh, at least one newspaper has asked, various media outlets have asked, Sanchez or Aguero? which I find an extraordinary debate, really. Um, and uh, I kind of... It's a first for me on TalkSport today. First for me on Drive. You're going to have to handle this one because I refuse to take part in this. Why is that? Because it's a non-debate. It's the Arsenal-driven media who are putting Sanchez on a par with Aguero just to try and get some kind of non-glory for themselves <laughs> because they know the club's not going to win anything. It's a total and utter joke. Sergio Aguero... We're talking about Sergio Aguero earlier this season as potentially somebody who could knock on the door of Messi and Ronaldo. Alexis Sanchez is nowhere near that level. Absolutely nowhere near. Just because he's gone to Arsenal. He's gone to Arsenal and he looks brilliant in a bang average side by their standards. He's their outstanding player. What's keeping Correct. him what's keeping him in the position they're in is the one outstanding player. And he has performed for him. He's been brilliant for Arsenal. Yep. And without no him that. and without him there would probably be another couple of places down the table. That's all. There won't be any lower than that. But you know what's ridiculous? People seem to have bought into this. Like there is some sort of comparison that can be made. There is no comparison. I'll be amazed if somebody can come on and try to convince me that you can have Alexis Sanchez anywhere near Sergio Aguero. There's no comparison to be made. Sergio Aguero walks into any team in Europe, in the world. Alexis Sanchez couldn't get into the Barcelona team. They wanted him out. That's why he went to Arsenal. By the way, this is Arsenal, who haven't won the title for 10 years. It wasn't like Chelsea and Man City were queuing up to sign him. So don't give me it was Sanchez. Liverpool or Arsenal. Don't give me Alexis Sanchez or Sergio Aguero. That's not that's not even a fair contest. Sergio Aguero wins it 100 percent. Alexis Sanchez has been brilliant this season. Sergio Aguero has been brilliant all his career. So for me, that's the end of the debate. But if you want, do you want to go and have the debate with people? Well, it is a difficult one. Um, I think is it? I, I tell you, Aguero is the better player. Yeah. You're spot on in your assessment on, uh, for me. As someone who's watching the game, as a fan of football, and you're watching Aguero play, whenever he plays for Manchester, yet they've done without him because Jekyll's scored. They've got great players around him. Yaya Torres scored. They've been really good without him this time, with Milner playing up front as well in the false guy in a number nine position. But when he plays, he makes them a real, real elite team in top of the world. When Sanchez plays for Arsenal... Yeah, they're what you expect them to be and the position they're in, don't you? Mm. In fourth place. Mm. Aguero plays from Manchester City could be the difference between second and first and qualifying through the Champions League yep. group the next round. They mm. need Aguero fit for that. Mm. There's the difference. Yeah, no, I, I, I'm hearing you. I, I'm, I'd love to hear from anybody who, who thinks that this is a, some sort of equal contest. Aguero, for me, miles ahead. Now, if, we're, if you're factoring in injuries then it becomes an absurd debate because you're basically saying, well, Alexis Sanchez is better than Aguero when he's out injured. I'm better than Aguero when he's out injured. Well, maybe I'm not. They're playing different positions, though. Aguero is quality as a central player. He has to be central. He's an out-and-out mm. centre-forward. He gets the ball. If he gets it deep, he can run at defenders centrally. Yeah, with his pace, his power um, and skill. Now, Sanchez could play anywhere from midfield to any of the top positions up top. So it's very hard to compare them, though, Ed, because they are di totally different in my book. Sanchez, yeah, is scoring goals has probably clouded the issue. Is he an out-and-out -out centre-forward? No. no. Uh, or he'd be playing that position for Arsenal. Mm. He's someone who gets a free roll, he drifts from out wide and likes to come inside. So they're totally yeah. different players. Right. So to even compare them from people out there comparing Aguero and Sanchez... The red's gone, hasn't it? Yeah, totally. You've given another element, another angle on the debate that proves it's absurd. Totally absurd. If you're comparing Sanchez to Hazard, would that be a better comparison? I think you could. That, that's Yeah, I mean, obviously Man City are playing against Arsenal this weekend, which is why they've made that comparison. Yeah. But yeah, I, I would agree with you. That That's a yeah. fairer comparison. Um, I, I can't quite get my head around it. I mean, I've seen people taking this debate seriously. 
I cannot understand it. I, I, I don't really know where people are coming from on it. At the end of the season, Alexis Sanchez might get player of the year. Um, it's probably be, the only reason he'll get it, by the way, is because somebody like Sergio Aguero hasn't played a full season because he's been out injured. But if you're, if, if, like I said, if that's the absurd part of another absurd part of the debate, if you're saying Sanchez is better when Aguero's out, can you realise just how stupid that Hang on, sounds? Player of the year. Yeah. I'd be surprised if, unless Arsenal have a big turnaround in their form, Chelsea competing for everything, mm. absolutely everything, and they've got a guy who's popping in goals left, right, and centre. Yep. And they've got a guy who's yeah. providing them with goals. I'm hearing you. Left, right, and centre. I think centre David Silver Fabregas. as well has been You've brilliant. You've got Matic mm. as well at Chelsea. You've got three players at Chelsea. Mate, well, how long have I seasons. been telling you? How long have I been John telling Terry, you? John Terry, four. How long have I been telling you that the media for me, this is, this is my own personal opinion, um, media for me is very Arsenal driven. Uh, there's a lot of Arsenal in the media. And I think that they're pushing Sanchez like he's some alien from another planet playing football like nobody's good ever seen. Very good he's, player. Yeah, but, and he is. He's excellent. He's been brilliant for Arsenal. Hmm. But if you stuck him in the Man City squad, is he James Milner? Is he a slightly better version of James Milner? Would he stand out as the best player in the Man City team? I think he's a better version of James Milner purely because of his, his, his dribbling skills yeah, and but his what about pace. The next question? And he looks better because he's quick. What about the next question? Would he stand out in that Man City team as the best player in that team? Is he better? Does he, does he have more uh, to say about the team? Would he have more to say about the team, more to do with the impact of the team than Silva or Aguero? I, I find this hard to believe. He is looking very good in a very average Arsenal side, isn't he? Simon's an Arsenal fan. How do you feel about it, Simon? I think you're mad. I'm oh, really, I cannot <laughs> believe you're coming out of what you say. I don't think you're saying it to get a reaction. Cause well, which bit? Actually, you, he is. I, I've watched Arsenal since I was 12 years old. I've seen the Burkham's the Omri's of the lot. He is. He's got everything. He's, he's played 21 league games, scored 12 and set up seven goals in a team, as you said, that are injury-ridden and, and are average at the moment at best, unfortunately. He is exceptional. He's got absolutely everything to his game. Aguero is a great player as well, but how can you not compare them or say that he's not in the same level as Aguero? Well, I don't think he is. I think Aguero is at another level. Like Messi and Ronaldo at the very top level, then you get levels down. I think Aguero is at a much higher level than Alexis Sanchez. Aguero, is, Aguero picks up injury after injury. This guy, he, he doesn't pick up injuries because he's played street football from a young boy. He, he's as strong as an ox. He's got vision. He's got absolute, I mean, I've watched Henri, I've watched the Nelka Burke, and not we all have. This guy would get into any single one of those teams. He'd stand out in the Man City team. He would stand out in the United team. I mean, you, you look at Falcao or something like that. He's in a different level to these players. The guy's got absolutely everything okay well let, let, hang on i mean you're talking about him like he's some sort of super god okay which makes me wonder why arsenal aren't even in the top four uh they have uh, failed to win arsenal have failed to win more games than they've won in the premier league this season so where's he been for those 11 that they've failed to win uh might have been brilliant in the 10 that they have won but where's he been in the 11 you know when you're talking about players with that kind of terminology simon you're talking about players who really do lift a team to the very top, to challenge for the very top honours. Arsenal are 13 points behind the leaders. Now, Alexis Sanchez has been excellent, but how good can he be when they're that far behind the leaders? He can't be at that elite level, can he? Surely. Where was he at Stoke when you lost? Where was he at Southampton when you lost? Now, I'm, I'm asking these questions. Where was he against Man United? At home. You know, Alexis Sanchez, if he is at the elite level... Brilliant player, but if he's at the elite level that Simon, the Arsenal fan, is talking about, Arsenal would have won more games than they haven't won this season, surely. Hmm. I mean, uh, and the I'm interesting one is Sanchez. I do enjoy watching him play, and he, and he can play anywhere on that top line. But why would the club he left, which we all know that club is, hmm. yeah, sell him if he was that world-class, which he's just talked about? If he was world-class, why would they sell Sanchez? And I tell you why uh, Arsenal fans are really overdoing it because they're that desperate for heroes after 10 years without a title win and never winning the Champions League. They're absolutely desperate for a hero. There are no more Bergkamps. There are no more Henri's. There are no more heroes at Arsenal. That's why they're desperate to make them up. This is TalkSport.